hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks for coming back if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer before any further i do let's get started here i'm going to use a5 paper size then change to inches resolution 300 and create here yeah, this is our canvas paper then select the code here to copy it then go to your solid color then you paste it you see the color code on the screen then drag your image into the photoshop drag it up okay now go to your blending mode and select multiply then all right then go back again then to bring in this light effect then go back again then to bring this one and drag it up then go to blending mode apply soft light okay. then reduce the opacity to 45 okay then drag this one down this way then change the blending mode to soft light so this is what you have you position it well then i'm going to bring this one then position it well okay then go to your blending mode again and change it to color dodge So this is what you have now I'm going to bring this last one then change the blending mode to screen all right having done this one go to and select your rectangle Then use the round corner rent angle, drag it this way, increase the corner, then apply orange color, okay, now then import the church logo then reduce the size then position it apply center alignment there Alright, reduce, <laughs> increase the size a bit. So in this way, I think it's okay. Then copy this color code again. Then go back to your background. Then select solid color. Then paste. You see the color code on the screen now select the layer mask then and blend it this way blend it this way so you have something like this i'm 
I'm going to select this effect and drag it down a bit this way is okay all right I think it's okay like this now so these are the fonts I'm going to use then select the church name copy select your test tool Ctrl V to paste then I'm going to use the fonts here position it this way then double right duplicate it then select your test and copy it then highlight this one and contribute to paste then increase the size okay then use your arrow key to drag it down then go to your test again and copy select your test tool then paste reduce it then I'm going to open the character space this way then apply center alignment ctrl D to deselect The space is too much i'm going to reduce it it's okay like this and control a again apply center alignment control d to the select then copy your test again select your test tool then i'm paste Then reduce it to zero. I'm going to use the font Fira. Then make it black. Then hold your shift key and increase it this way. Okay, so color like this. Then apply center alignment. Then control J to duplicate it. Drag it down. Then copy your test. Then select this one and control V to paste. center alignment increase it this way hold your shift key now then reduce the size
apply this color here orange color okay now I'm going to group this one as my test I'll group this one and I'm going to group this one as the background I will group this one as a present Oh, having renamed them, I'm going to duplicate the test here, then convert it to smart object, then go to your filter, go to select this dot, then go to pinch here, so you can see, reduce it to minus 24. Then you see the changes there then click OK so this is what we have all right now go to your background bring this image then apply clipping mask okay then bring this light effect, position it the way you want it. Then go to your blending mode, select screen. So this is what we have. Then group the text together. I'm going to rename it Amazing. All right. Then copy your test again, the team select your test tool then paste close the character space then i'm going to change the font using brush script then rotate it this way and drag it up this way then change the color so this orange color okay position it well now go back to copy your team test then select your test tool and paste change the color to white then change the font to Fira. Then make it bold. Then increase the size this way. Then apply center alignment. Then close it up a little bit. This way is okay. All right. Then I'm going to select the tool and group it. 
so that anything I'm going to do, it will affect the two together. Then increase it a bit this way, it's okay. Now, bring your image in, reduce the size, position it at the center here, increase it this way, okay. Apply center alignment. Then copy the name here. Control V. The font there is brush script. script. <coughs> Sorry for that. Drag it over here. Reduce the size of this one. Then zoom out to see how it's going to come out. Then copy the date. Then paste it over here. Then increase the size. Okay. Then bring the calendar icon. Reduce the size. Then rasterize it. Select your magic to hold your shift key, then you click delete. Ctrl D to deselect. Reduce the size and position it over here. Then come back to copy your test then paste then i'm going to drag it up here and increase the size all right so this is what we have now i'm going to group it together then i'll rename it as date Well, I'm going to duplicate this one here, Control J. Then drag it to the other side over here. Copy the time. Select this one and Control V to paste. Then drag it to this position. To any other position that you will like. Okay. Then bring the time icon. Reduce the size. Reduce the size. 
position it over here okay now go to adjustment select hue and take it over here okay Then copy AM. Select your test tool again. Then I'll paste it over here. Then drag it and position it over here. Now I'm going to select them, group it time then position it as you want it okay then I'm going to draw a rectangle over here then select the orange color Then bring this location icon. Position it over here. Then copy your location. Select the test tool. And paste. black I'm going to reduce the boldness of the fonts okay Now I'm going to select a drop shadow. Then play with the effect to get the desire of your choice. make it white then apply it I think it is okay then this way I think it's okay Alright, then go back to your drop shadow again, do some little adjustment to see how it's going to come. I think it's okay for me, then okay. Align it properly, then group it. So, this is what you have.
thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe